Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. Current me is actually on vacation, so this video is being made by five days ago me. I hope it has been a calm and peaceful five days. Anyway, it's Question Tuesday, the day that I answer real questions from real nerd fighters. Let's get right to it. Can we start with some good news? Yeah, there's a pretty good chance that no humans will contract polio this week, which is something we've very rarely been able to say over the last several thousand years. Advanced trials of an Ebola vaccine showed a 100% effectiveness rate. The U.S. economy has added jobs for 76 consecutive months. Plus, Beyonce's pregnant, a new Zelda game is forthcoming, and humans on average are living longer, healthier, and more prosperous lives than they were yesterday, or the day before that, or at any time in human history. Diet Dr. Pepper or Cherry Diet Dr. Pepper? While we're on the topic of good news, it is almost impossible to find Cherry Diet Dr. Pepper these days, which is great news because Diet Dr. Pepper on its own is already perfect. What's your opinion on bears? Um, strongly in favor, in favor, meh, in favor, honestly a little overrated, opposed to, and in favor. What's your opinion of glitter? Sometimes Alice will put glitter on my face and then like several days later, even after many face washes, I'll discover there's still like one or two little pieces of glitter. And then I think, you know, if glitter can do that, billions of bacteria probably can too. If you had a TARDIS and could go anywhere in space and time, where would you go? Well, the past was worse, and I'm not feeling like totally confident in the future, so I would probably just go to present day New Zealand, because those people seem nice. Why hasn't live news taken off on YouTube? Let me answer your question with a question. Do, do we really need more live news? What I need is like a pause button that like contextualizes the news for me and tells me what it means. How are you coping with all the scary stuff in the world. I don't know what you're talking about. I am a happy lobster in a pot of cool water. Does anyone else feel like the water's getting warmer? How excited are you for VidCon Europe in April? Very excited, not least because I haven't been back to Amsterdam since the Fault in Our Stars movie came out, and it will be fun to go to all of my old haunts. Any YA book recommendations? Yes, The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, which comes out later this month, and I truly believe it will be a classic. Like, even if you don't love books, you are going to love this book. I try not to inundate you with book recommendations, but this is a very special book. What's been your favorite part of 100 Days so far? I think my favorite thing is how bad Chris and I are at high fives, like we've been best friends for a decade without ever successfully completing a single high five. Favorite song on the Hamilton mixtape? Immigrants. What's the secret of life? I think maybe understanding that you deserve to love and be loved. All-time favorite dystopian novel? Yeah, I don't know, 1984 is definitely a great dystopian novel, but I feel like the one that we're living in has just amazing world building. What's your favorite Pokemon? Henry says the answer to this question is Mega Mewtwo EX, whatever that means. What's the most important song you've ever listened to? Wow, that's a great question because of course like the most important songs you've ever listened to are not necessarily the best ones. There have been a few occasions in my life when a song crossed my path that I actually, like, needed that gave form or expression to something deep down inside me that I couldn't understand or look directly at. The first one was probably the song I Think We're Alone Now by 1980's teen idol Tiffany, but also New Partner by the Palace Brothers' Love, Love, Love by the Mountain Goats. I've put together a playlist of songs this question brought to my mind. It's in the doobly-doo below. Nerdfighters, I'd love to hear what songs or art in general you feel like have been important to you. And maybe we can discover cool stuff from each other. Alright Hank, it's time for me to vacate. I will see you on Friday.